Hey there guys and welcome back to Space Engineers. Now, still having problems with this vent for some reason. Um, it just refuses to depressurize for some reason. I don't understand what's going on there. It works fine in there. The one in there depressurizes is not a problem. This one, it seems to fail. I don't know what's going on there. So every time I open this door, oxygen fires out. Bizarre, but uh, anyway, uh, project uh, progress report. What I've done is I've made a couple of little changes. I've removed those large atmospheric thrusters from the sides uh, over there because they, well, they're essentially no use out here in space. Um, so I've installed a couple more of these hydro thrusters, and on top there. I've also uh, put a connector on so I can dock my mining ship to uh, this ship as well so I can easily transfer the materials that I've mined. And I've fully refueled her so she's a bit fat, a bit heavy. So it's a good thing I've actually installed those new uh, thrusters on. So let's... Oh, here we Pressurise. There we go. Right, come back in here. Alrighty, so the next step would be for me to uh, venture out, try and find some additional resources. And let's, ooh, we've got nickel not far away, 161 meters. All right, don't particularly need it just yet. But, um, I'm still on the lookout for platinum. I'd like to produce some of those ion thrusters, which would be ideal for space and save on uh, using the ice that I have. So if I engage that... Oh, I forgot. I, I forgot to clear off the... Uh, because I took off the connector from at the bottom there and installed a hydro thruster. I forgot to... Uh, Remove that from the thing, so let's get ready to go. So we've got enough power to get us off the ground anyway, which is good. And yeah, I'm going to start having a hunt round, see if I can find some of these materials that I need. And we'll be happy. And we're back. Right. I found platinum. Right. So it's down there 140 meters below so what i want to do is i'm going to pack around here and then i'm going to use uh, this area as a, a place to develop a base got some nickel there so what i'm going to do get landed then i'm going to take the miner out and we're going to mine some of that uh, well, probably not mine the platinum just yet. Let's uh, get a base built up and then we can build an advanced refinery. So, three locked. Alrighty. Come out here. Boys are down. Let's depressurize. Or I'd like to depressurize if it would, but it's not. And we'll get up here. Also, I want to make sure the miner's empty. So let's have a look at her. She's carrying a load of uh, uranium. So let's go on to the ship there. Might move that there. Quite enough space there for it. Put all that in there. I think that's it. Got some there as well. Yeah, we'll uh, start mining. Right. Alright, so we've managed to get uh, quite a bit of nickel from there. Next step is to get some silicon. 
so I'll be able to create circuit boards and everything I'll need. So how much nickel did I actually get? Let's have a look. So we've got 7.8k of nickel, which ain't too bad. Um, I need the ship to refuel though, and I will have to take her out to uh, refuel. I took half of my fuel up gathering that. Um, so yeah, next step, scout around for some silicon, and then we'll start building a base. BRB! And we're back. So I've managed to get materials that I need to get started. It's coming in for a landing. Get this uh, ship settled somewhere. Not too sure where to build just yet though. Got to be in this area though because uh, I want to have close access to the platinum and nickel and also most of my resources are just in that direction as well so they're not too far away. Uh, this ship is very top heavy so at some point I will have to uh, consider building a proper star fleet or starship whatever all right so let's enable the landing gate locked so we can now shut down all engines and get ready to get started so the refinery at this time is still processing all the what are we doing? Up the silicon that I gathered so should have enough to get, uh, get me started so I'm gonna take out a load of these at first let's put my uh, visor down uh, decompress let's see if it'll work it worked see it's just it picks and chooses when it wants to work bizarre right big bounce down Right, okay, so whereabouts should I build? Right, so I'm thinking about building in this area here. It's like over the uh, ridge. Look over here. So uh, that's the mine that I've uh, been mining for, for the platinum and stuff. So I like building up, um, over this ridge here. I don't know, I could probably use that space to put a vehicle park it in and out and sort of things uh work it out i don't know exactly what i'm doing just yet so all right so the sun is that setting yeah i think it sets on that side uh which means that it'll raise on that side so i want the solar panels so let's it get out there them as high as I can make sure that they capture as much of the sunlight as I can and what I need to do is get back on board the ship I'm gonna have to get some um, solar panel stuff ready for going on the build all right so production whoops here not that many um, I forgot how many solar panels it is that need because I don't really use solar panels very, very much. Right, let's see. I'll tell you what. Alright, G. Solar. Right, let's sell per new toolkit. That. So that would need 32 solar panels apiece plus gl uh, glass and girders. Right, okay, so, right, I get the idea now. Whoop. Don't fall.
get a bit of an idea of where I'm going to put the refinery. One connection at the bottom one side there. Thinking because due to height, I might be best have it on its side. I don't know. Otherwise, this is going to be an extremely tall building. So if I put it on its side there like that, um, I'll have to extend this out a bit more uh, because I'll need to make allowances for the modules. Oops. Alright, so I'm thinking here would be one airlock in. So I'm a bit wanting to leave a bit of a gap uh, because I'd need the oxygen ventilator to probably be above. I thought about consider doing below, but uh, I mean, I've got to, that's a lot of digging, and also it means that I'll end up having a lot of piping going underneath there. Uh, I haven't decided on that yet. So, thinking wall, window, window, wall, window, wall, wall. And. I would have to have obviously some storage containers. Energy low. Oh. Right, better sort that out. Arrgh. It's going to take a whole lot of getting used to. If I can get. Um, at, at least one room built and sealed, then that way I can oxygen, uh, oxygenate it and yeah, be a thing. Woo! Right. I have to weld these up. So I don't have to worry about them later. Actually, where was that other part? I think it was there, wasn't it? Connection part. Ah. Modules, part of area which I would use to access. We have one going here, so maybe branching off into a warehouse area with uh, storage containers. Ah. I think we'll have to just see how it goes. So let's pair this area over here. The door. Potentially having to be another airlock until I've built this section. And then I'd have to extend up. So let's see, doorway. One of them, probably going to the right tool bar. Three, so that one would have to go like that. Then this one like that. And I need to uh, work out how I'm going to do the plumbing. Hmm. Where do where am I going to put the O2 tank? Um, probably, I don't know.
But I'll tell you what, I'm going to have a think about this and we'll be RB. And we're back. Progress report. It's coming together. Uh, I've still got a lot of work to do. So this is the first airlock. I uh, decided to put the vent there. I uh, wanted to have like a window so I could see that beautiful, gorgeous sight of planet Earth up there. Um, although I have read that the windows can be a little awkward where pressurization is concerned, but we'll see uh, when it's put together. Uh, in here, we've got the refinery built. Uh, yeah, that 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 is a bit weird. It's upside down there, but it'll do. Uh, got storage container under there. Got a couple of containers at the end here. Up there, I'm uh, crafting the assembler. I need metal grids, uh, though, uh, which I don't have, and I haven't got the cobalt to uh, craft them. I've installed batteries down here. There's only three of them. Up there is going to be the nuclear reactor, or the nuclear reactor, the reactor. Um, and I might install a second one for extra power. Uh, got piping going here. So we've got the vent, uh, vent here, which will pressurize this room over here. Got another one here. So this is another airlock. Got the buttons here. I haven't configured them yet, but they will pressurize and depressurize this room to allow me to come back out. And yeah, it's actually coming together nicely. So the thing is, I'm a bit torn on what to do. Should I take a chip out and have a look out for some cobalt? I think that's something I haven't come across yet. Or maybe I did and I just, I've forgotten. That would be just typical of me. I could do that. The only problem I have though is that I keep using so much ice to uh, fly around. Um, or... I could strip down the big ship. That would easily give me the resources I need to get this base up and running. And that would save me a few treks and then later time build a new uh, ship. A big one. What do you guys think? I think what I'll do is I'll put a poll in the video. Um, it'll be somewhere in the top right. Um, if you want to cast a vote in there. Um, also, I'll put a, a, a poll up here in my community section. I'll have the link in the description down below. And also, um, yeah, um, post your comments what you think I should do. Should I strip that big ship down so I can get this all built up? Or should I just go out and get the resources and uh, keep that ship as one? Let me know down in the comments down below. But... I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then smash the like button. Oh yeah, I forgot. I put in these nice windows. Nice little touches, I think. So if you come around here, same here. Uh, nice smooth angles going to them. I think that's nice. Nice little port window here. So yeah. Um, but anyway, post your comments down below. What your thoughts are and uh, your suggestions. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then smash the like button. And hold on. Let me just look at you. Uh, I, I dare not open my visor. I will suffocate. But uh, yeah, smash the like button. Hit subscribe. And why not ring that little bell to be notified of future content. I'll catch you next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. See ya.